Radio 10. I'm in the middle of doing these questions uh, to upload these answers for you for today's lesson. And I just thought I would record me doing question 9 um, because I know 9 and 10 were particularly tricky. So I've drawn out question 9 here and then I was sort of halfway through doing it whenever I decided I would talk you through it as well. So see the way this whole triangle isn't a right angle triangle so that means we can't straight away find that full length of the side x so i'm splitting it up into the two triangles because because of this here we've got two right angle triangles okay so i've drawn yellow around this one so i'm dealing with my yellow triangle first and i'm going to be able to find out the distance from here to here using my yellow triangle and then i'll do the same with this other one um just using a different color and then I'll add the two of them together. Okay, so let's let me work my way through that. I've labeled my side, so this is the angle for this triangle. Six is the opposite. The adjacent is here, and that's going to be part of X. So it's the adjacent that we have to, to use. So we're using O and A, so that means we're using tan. So tan of 23 is 6 over A. So a tan 23 is 6, so a is 6 over tan 23, which gets 14.14, which seems sensible enough. Okay, so let's do another one. We'll do a pink triangle. So this triangle here, 6 is the opposite. Again, we're trying to find the adjacent. We don't care about the hypotenuse in this one. So for the pink triangle, we are still in tan. So tan theta is O over A. Oh, that lighting is horrendous. Um, ooh, hold on. Where does that help? Probably not. I'll try and hold that up while I go. Right, anyway, so tan 60 is 6 over A. So A tan 60 equals 6. So A is 6 over tan 60, which gets... That seems wrong, but I actually think it's fine because see the way this is a big angle, so that is going to be a really, really steep, and that one's going to be a really like sort of shallow, which will make that bit longer than that one. So the total length of x is going to be these two added together: fourteen point one four plus three point four six gets seventeen point six to three significant figures. Okay, so 10 will be done exactly the same as that. I think I, I had originally planned to put up the answer to 10, but now, just to be evil, I'm not. So check and see if you got number 9 right. Oh, I can actually see if you got number 9 right or not. Um, if you submitted your work yesterday. And um, redo number 10 if you need to, or if you think you might need to. Okay, over and out.